Welcome to Slingin' Pixels. Today I'm going to talk about software. Now for the most part, Adobe is really the only game in town, right? Yeah, for the most part I'd say that's true. And I can't imagine life without Photoshop. But as much as I love Adobe, I have to say I've developed a bit of a love-hate relationship with them. I've been using Photoshop for 30 years now, and when it first came out it blew my mind and I still love it today. And although it's older, I haven't been using Illustrator for as long. Back in the 90s, I was partial to a vector app called Freehand by a company called Macromedia. Freehand rocked the universe. It was so much easier than Illustrator in just about every way. For example, typing on a path was an absolute joy. The tool was thought out perfectly, unlike the way it is in Illustrator, even today, where it seems like it was developed by five different programmers who never spoke to each other and didn't even know the others existed. Freehand was a fantastic app, or program as us designosaurs used to call them. So you can imagine my furious anger when Adobe bought Macromedia in 2005 and killed Freehand. They could have at least incorporated some of Freehand's best features into Illustrator, but nope, they just killed it. Now the funny thing is, Macromedia's catalog also included the web design app Dreamweaver, which Adobe got as part of their purchase. But they killed their own app called GoLive in favor of Dreamweaver, even though GoLive was the better software. Now the thing I liked about software back then was, you bought it, you owned it. They come out with a major update about once a year with all kinds of new features, and it felt like Christmas. Adobe's Creative Cloud subscription kind of takes all the fun out of it. I mean, sure, you get all these frequent updates and new features, but it's like having Christmas all year round. It's just not special anymore. Now, the other thing about a subscription is, if you don't pay every year, you're out of luck. You're locked out of the software. In the days of yore, you could skip a release and just keep using the version you have if you're strapped for cash or just not impressed by the new features. Today, if you can't afford the subscription, tough tea leaves. And that can be really tough for a new freelancer just trying to get started. That said, Creative Cloud is actually a pretty good deal if you use all those apps. I use most of them, so it's worthwhile for me, but I have to say I really hate this software as a service subscription model that so many developers have adopted. I understand why, but I still hate it. The giant font library is really cool too, although that interface could still use some serious work. And while I'm on the subject of interfaces, years ago Adobe made public their goal of unifying the interface of all their apps. Yeah, in case you haven't noticed, that hasn't happened yet. Now check out my next show where I'm going to talk about some really nice competitors to the triumvirate of graphic design programs, which is Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. Can you guess what they are? Thanks for tuning in to Slingin' Pixels. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button, and better yet, subscribe to my channel to get more straight poop on what it's like to have a career in graphic design. So what's your favorite design app? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Later.